Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having Chrysler 300 that generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the immobilizer fuses and relays are located, where you can find them. By the way, if you need to buy any uh, parts, tools at a good price, we're going to share the information in the video. That way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So guys, before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, that way we can keep making these free videos. We show you how to fix engines, transmission, bodywork, fuses, relays, all that stuff, guys. And if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 50 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So the immobilizer fuses relays where you can expect to find them. We will demonstrate on this generation Chrysler 300 here, guys. For that specific purpose, we need to work in two different fuse boxes. That's right, the first one, we need to open the hood. When you open the hood, it doesn't matter if you have a V6 or V8 engine. Next to the engine, facing the engine on the left side, this is the passenger side, you have a fuse box. Press the two tabs here together, pull that cover out, and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So guys, here, what we need to check, let's zoom in a little bit here, and uh, we need to start checking quite a few different fuses. For the immobilizer specifically, the first fuse that we need to check is fuse number seven. Now, you may or may not have all of them, depending on which package you have which model which year so if you start on this side that's fuse number two three four five six seven if you have seven it will be right here then you need to check fuse number 10 okay if you have immobilizer you may have that fuse here as well number 10 that's nine ten right here after that you need to check fuse 24 so uh, 24 guys okay will be that fuse right here if you have it Next, you need to check relay 59. Relay 59, we're talking about this relay right here. And next, you need to go in the trunk, open the trunk, lift the, um, uh, the carpet liner up. Underneath you have the spare tire, car battery. Behind it you have a fuse box. This is a closer look of that same fuse box. These two tabs, press them together, pull the cover out, and you have that layout here. Specifically here, we need to check fuse 33 so uh, 33 if you come in that row here let me zoom in a little bit that's fuse 31 next to it you have one fuse that's 32 it's barely visible and that's 33 that last 15 amp fuse on the right side that's the one that you need to check then you need to check relay 29 and some of you may have relay 14 that you need to check there as well those are the main things you need to check on Chrysler 300 so guys, that generation Chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of 
fuses guys you can see different fuses relays uh, that's the engine fuse box that's the trunk fuse box those could be really hard to find some of them guys and if you're in the middle of nowhere you need a replacement you cannot get one you may be stuck guys so we will recommend to buy some put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind keep some spare ones uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time hopefully the video was helpful guys thank you for watching see you next time